What's going on guys? Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Today I bring you guys a great video. It's against a Madden Challenge semi-finalist. Uh, I think it's semi-finalist, maybe quarter-finalist. Regardless, he went to the live event. He had a great run. Um, it's JS the best. Uh, real nice guy, real cool dude, um, and really good Madden player, man. So, uh, and this, this was a great game. So that we, I played him twice on the leaderboards. I got him pretty good the first time, uh, but the second game was was a lot closer game and it was a lot better game. So I decided to bring you guys that. Um, uh, so I got the ball first, as you see here, we're on a third and three. Um, he played really good defense right there, but we had Michael Vick. So we're able to get out of the pocket. I tried to slide. I was really mad on stream. Um, I tried to slide. It, it was one of those times where it's like, it just doesn't let you. I know you guys know what I'm talking about too. Um, it just doesn't let you slide. So I don't know what that was. So regardless though, we gotta get another stop. No excuses. Um, we, we have to get a stop, not another stop. Um, kind of get that back. So he's in trip side in just like me. Um, his he runs a little bit more simple than mine, and that's not an insult by any means. Um, playing simple is really, really, it really works. Um, you only need a few dots. You just gotta be able to call the right plays at the right time to counter whatever defense they're in. Um, we force a fourth and one here. We play perfect defense and we are able to knock it down. So we were able to make up for our fumble. Great defense there. And as always, man, opening drives both on offense and defense, it doesn't count for this one. And right there, I literally only threw that ball for Ivy Strafen, aka Ryan. Um, I had to show him how good Odell was. I said, Ryan, I'm only I'm gonna throw to Odell here and let him make a play. I just want you to see it. I said I was throwing that regardless. So that explains why I threw such a blind one right there. I tell you guys that's the truth, I promise. Um and right there, I thought we threw an open pass to Odell. He gets a great knockout animation and ends up picking it off. So we ruined our stop back, man. We give him the ball back. So really bad start for us. Uh, it hurts, especially because, um, like I said before, it wasn't really a feel out. Um, it wasn't really a feel out drive for me because I already played him and I already had success. So I should have already known what he wanted to do and uh, what I should have been able to do against him. But regardless, man, it's not the biggest deal. Uh, we just gotta get a stop on our side of the ball. So um, I feel confident we're doing that. We've been playing good defense against them, uh, both in this game and the game before. But right here, he goes to a nice play call. I actually thought he had a touchdown, but we get a perfect click on. I rip the guy over there as quickly as possible, and we get another pick. So right now, we're both just playing really, really good defense. Um, Back and forth game, we both have two stops. It's rare in Madden 19 that you see someone get two stops. Again, both people get two stops back to back on each other. It's just not the way the game plays. Um, it's really, really easy to play offense right now. And if you guys watch me on stream, uh, which is in the description if you guys want to do that, um, I score a lot of points. And my opponents, if they know what they're doing on offense, they score a lot of points too. Um, this is probably the best I've felt on defense in a while. But that being said, just the way the game plays, you're gonna give up points, and it's just the just the way it is. Um, right here, we draw up a perfect play. Vic sells us hard, man. He he went hard flats. We drew up the crosser over top of it, and it just didn't work out for us, man. So tough break for us there. That one hurt. Um, second and ten here. Nothing's really open. We're sitting in the pocket. Nothing's there. Nothing's there. We roll out, and there's no way I'm not outside the pocket. Um, maybe he didn't get the ball to the line of scrimmage. I don't know. Uh, but we end up taking an uh, intentional grounding penalty, so we just settle for three here. Um, I'm just looking for an ag, but there's no way you're going to pick up this down on anything. So just take just take our field goal. Not the end of the world, man. Um, with the way we're playing defense, I really feel confident by just getting three here. But like I said, this is an uncharacteristic Madden 19 game. A lot of good defense being played. Um, something that I do want to harp on for myself is when you get two stops early in the game, um, you need to blow that guy all the way out. Um, you can't be settling for um, field goals when you've already stopped them twice. Like I should be up ten or thirteen nothing minimum here. Um, and if that were the case, we'd be uh, we'd be in great shape. But I haven't played good offense. I fumbled. I just and I haven't taken advantage of my opportunity. So with that, we uh, we're letting him back in the game essentially, or keeping him in the game, I should say. So. Regardless, good doubt by him, man. Um, he's really running two setups on offense. It's double in sale with a, with a motion block receiver. Um, and he's running pace lock corner with a motion over corner into a post, so he has double posts. That's really all he's doing. Like I said, he keeps it simple, but at the same time, it's two hard plays to adjust for, and you adjust for them differently. They're not You can't stop 
like without sending pressure that is you can't stop both at the same time uh, as he has a nice little low ball dot over there he saw what I was doing manning people up and I didn't have a yellow there so really good play by him but he gave me some trouble um, but I think I did by the end of the game find the defense for him um, so I'll take that in the next one but really I thought I had the defense for him after the first game we played because I really felt like I did a good job against him but maybe he just was having an off game who knows um, but we're in a third and 12 here tough spot we already get half back on the play before which was good but we need to pick up a decent uh, amount right here and right there we only get three yards with Vic so that was a tough break um, I thought we were better to get out right there but he had a corner that was really fast but big time play to Vernon right there able to pick up the first down that was huge if we had gotten stopped right there it's his ball at half we were going to be in some big 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 trouble so we were able to draw up a big time dot for us right there uh, that post was able to drag that cloud back for me to allow me to fit that slant in which was really good and that helped me later on and you guys will see it I'll talk about it later but learning that that post was going to push a cloud black to allow me to throw a slant underneath was really really important to know um, so that was that was something that I'm like that's something you want to do in a game if you're playing and something works you don't have to run it every single play now if they're just like not adjusting at all literally keep spamming it like run the same play over and over but if you see something works against a certain defense that they're playing a decent amount of keep that in your mental pocket no okay I can go back to that if need be um, so right there perfect play call really deep quarter with a hard flat that verticals corner out is gonna get underneath it nine times out of ten his corner just makes a good play was able to knock it out and that's a tough break for us so we give him the ball back frustrating play um, to not be able to get a first down on a play call that I thought was correct um, but it's not, the, it's not the end of the world right here he goes back to PA slot corner I told you he was running those two plays and man I thought that was the same exact play as me when I threw it away and got an intentional grounding I was really heated on stream if they didn't call intentional grounding for me I would have had no problem with them not calling intentional grounding for him because I thought he was like one step out of the pocket just like I was but instead no intentional grounding third and ten dot by him he hangs on to it on a hit stick and he's in field goal range now so instead of him being on a third and 30 where he's got no chance of picking up the first down no chance at a field goal I'm probably getting the ball back with a chance at a field goal myself it turns into a field goal for him minimum with a chance at a touchdown so huge turn of events with that non-intentional grinding call but regardless he had to throw the dot on third and ten and he did it and I didn't do a good job on defense against that so not gonna worry about that too much um I thought I made the right adjustments to get a stop but um, I didn't right here he backs all the way up in the pocket and kind of just chucks it so the defense there by me we know we need to stop right now though we uh, uh, we were down seven and it's his ball so we know we need to stop if we give up points here we're gonna be in trouble right there I thought we had a sack again it's gonna be another third and 30 and instead of getting the sack he's able to get the ball out um, but regardless we get our pick so we get our ball back but I was another one I was just frustrated on because I was like man if we sack him like it's third and 30 he's gonna have to punt no matter what so I was just kind of frustrated with that I just felt like I was getting a little unlucky on those but anyways man we end up throwing a pick right back to him um, I really didn't think he got underneath that corner route but really good bait by him dude I, I guess that's all I can really say I really felt like that was the right read I didn't think he could get there but he got there so Regardless, man, it's all good. Another play where I felt like I had a sack, um, a 20-yard one at that. Um, but he's able to get the ball out somehow. Next time, he actually does take the hit on a fumble. Um, but right there, my adjustments actually messed up. I, w I remember on stream I was complaining about it. It wouldn't let me do a certain thing. And it allowed him to get back in the field goal range. So it kind of sucks we let, we let up a field goal there especially after that long sack we, we could have gotten away with just getting a stop and letting ourselves right back in the game down one possession but it doesn't really matter too much um simply because we're just not playing well on offense um we have three points we've got we've stopped him three at least three times yeah at least three times and we have three points to show for it in a game where in Madden 19 if you get three stops and you're not winning you're doing something wrong on offense you can't really complain about anything the game is doing to you simply because like if like even if he's getting lucky on offense on a couple plays you've only you've already stopped him three times anyways so even if he's getting lucky on the ones he does score on it doesn't even matter you should have already like gotten away like gotten a big lead so right there perfect pass you see me I freak out it bounces right off Odell's hands the little animation where they don't even put their hands up 
and uh, it just goes right off their head. So that sucks. And then Julio doesn't catch the ball. And a little bit of traffic there. Can't complain too much about that one. But another one to Julio, another drop. So three straight plays where I felt like there was definitely a chance I had a catch. Um, I didn't get any of them. But this is what I was talking about earlier, man. Um, I saw that that post route carried that cloud past the marker, and I went back to that slant. Um, and it worked out for me again. So I told you guys before, mental notes. Whenever something works, keep it in the back pocket and know you can go back to it later. And that's exactly what I did. And I was able to pick up a crucial first down on a fourth and 10. And uh, now we're inside the five and we're trying to punch this thing in. Make him sweat a little bit. If I cut this to three with the way I've been playing defense, I really, really feel like I win this game. I already have three stops, so he knows he's not like in a, he's not playing flawless offense himself. So it's going to make him sweat a little bit. So we make it 13-10. And right now I'm just thinking if I get a stop, this game is mine. If I just get one stop, this game is mine. Perfect start. We blow up his run in the backfield. Loss of three. Now I'm feeling good. Um, and right here, I know he's going to double in sale. I man up the outside corner on the corner route. Night train lane just can't get there. Any rack acts. You see me mad again, guys. I was really frustrated about that. I thought it was the perfect defense. I knew he was going to double in sale. He went for it. And we just didn't get... We just didn't get what we wanted. And another one right there, I'm really mad. I thought it was an intentional grounding. You guys can go back and look at it. I feel that's intentional grounding. He was still within the tackle box. He just ran 15 yards backwards. Just because you run backwards doesn't mean you're outside of the pocket. Uh, you guys can correct me on the rule, but I'm 99% sure that's the rule. So regardless, man, it's tough breaks there. He throws a good hitch there and picks up the first down. Just feel like we're getting bad breaks, man. Uh, I felt like we did a really good job. On double and sale, we could have gotten a pick. Instead, he gets a catch, and he goes to a great play right there. Catches me manning up my deep pass safety. He's able to split me down the middle, and he gets a touchdown. So, tough break there. Now, I'm thinking, all right, we just got to score quick. We got to keep our three timeouts. If I can score before the two-minute warning, that's perfect. But even if it's a little bit after, if I score before 130, I'm in really, really good shape. Um, I just have to score before that 130 mark. I have my three timeouts, and I'll have time to win the game. So... Time's definitely a factor, but we're doing okay on it. I, I wouldn't say we're doing awful. Right there, Odell just can't hang on to it. I thought we got a rack, we were gonna get a rack egg, but we just didn't get it. That's cool. We're going to our play here. This is probably my favorite play to pick up a big chunk of yards. Um, I have my corner out, and we just can't get our feet down. It's, I had to, I had to roll out just a little bit more than I wanted to, and a lot of the safety to come back and make a play. But right there, we go back to the slant. I told you guys, whenever I needed a big play, I knew that slant was in my pocket because I knew my post would carry that cloud behind it. And right here, I actually hustled to call this play because I knew he was going to gas me. I was saying on stream, gas me, gas me, gas me. Because I knew he was going to blitz. I called that play knowing he was going to be aggressive and take his deep blue off, and I got a touchdown. Now we have one more shot to get a stop and get uh, and give myself a chance to win this game. He goes to... Uh, he goes to his pace lock corner setup. And he's he's able to get a dot, but he goes out of bounds. So it's really not the end of the world for me. I didn't really care about that as long as he got out of bounds. That's cool. Goes to the run here. We get a monster hit from Jamal. But Jamal Adams can't cause the fumble. Tough break there. Right here, we're, uh, we're really, really feeling double in sale. I thought we had perfect defense. We sent the whole crib. And he just runs 15 yards backwards and makes a perfect pass. That's the one thing that's frustrating in this game, man. Vic, you can just run. You literally hike the ball. You sprint 20 yards back. No one's fast enough to get there. He still throws a dot. Like, that's a cor that's a deep corner route where it has to be right on the money because he's manned up. And he has to stay in bounds and get his toe tap. That requires a perfect pass from Vic. And he gets it. And, and it's not just him. Like, literally, it's a good play because it happens every time. But... Regardless, man, he got his points. We ended up splitting 1-1 one -one in the series. Great game to Jason Vest. Consider him a friend. Good, Really good Madden player. Just made the Madden challenge, so he's definitely no slouch. Um, we, didn't get the, we, didn't get the, we didn't get the best from today, and it's all good. Sometimes that happens to you. I hope you guys enjoyed, man. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And I tell you what, man, we have a great uh, video dropping tomorrow. It's on Nickel 335. It's an update. Keep your eyes on that. In addition to that, I have another great game, gameplay coming to you guys um, versus uh, probably one of the top bunch users in the in the game. Uh, and he also runs Big Nickel over G on defense. So it's really, really, really good game. So look forward to both those videos coming soon. Hope you guys enjoy. Take it easy, man.
Peace.